Hey everybody, it's Ron from Pick Dogs, and this is Ron's Bank Shop Breakdown. We're going to go over five college basketball games for Sunday, February 19th, 2023. Now, if you like what you see, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to put your college basketball picks in the comments section below. And if you're looking for my best bets, including my $15 Bank Shop best bet, you can find those at the Premium Picks tab at PickDogs.com. Alrighty, let's get into it. Here are the games for Sunday in college basketball. First up, we go to the ACC as North Carolina takes on NC State. This one is going to be a 1 o'clock Eastern start time. It's going to be on ESPN. I think North Carolina is the better team in this matchup despite their recent form where they've lost four of their last five games. You know, they did beat NC State earlier this season in a 80-69 final score at home. And in that ball game, you know, North Carolina only shot four of 18 from three, 22%. But the big thing for me was they got to the free throw line 39 times in that game. We saw R.J. Davis get to the line 14 times, Caleb Love nine, uh, 10 free throws. He also had Armando Baycott with seven free throw attempts. So to me, you know, NC State's had issues with foul trouble both on the offensive end, not really getting to the free throw line, and defensively putting teams on the free throw line too much. And North Carolina, that's their game plan really offensively because this team has not been a very good three-point shooting team consistently this season. We've seen at times, like in their win over Clemson, where they were able to make some shots from the perimeter, but they've mostly relied on that front court and getting to the free throw line. They're a good free throw shooting team. They're a good team in terms of taking care of the basketball, so they get a lot of shots up, uh, but just not really, you know, their effective field goal percentage and their three-point percentage are a lot down uh, from compared to last year. So... You know, North Carolina, I still think, will be able to score points in this game, even on the road, because of those fundamentals that they do so well. Their defense has been solid. They're a very good defensive rebounding team, which is important against NC State. And I do think North Carolina is going to win this game in the end. So I'm going to take the points here with the Tar Heels. I think they grab the W on the road. Next up, we go to the AAC as Cincinnati takes on UCF. This one is going to be a 12 o'clock Eastern start time. It's going to be on ESPNU. You know, Cincinnati's lost two of its last three games, but UCF has also not really been in the best of form themselves as they've lost six of their last eight games, including their most recent game on the road against Memphis. I think Cincinnati is the better team. The shot quality data is certainly more promising for the Bearcats. And, you know, Cincinnati's a pretty good fundamental team. They take care of the ball a lot more than they did last season. They get a good amount of shots up. They're also just a better shooting team in general. For, you know, compared to last year, Cincinnati was ranked 301 in the nation in effective field goal percentage, 281st in three-point percentage. This season, much, much better numbers. 93rd in the country in three-point shooting, 136th in effective field goal percentage. A good rebounding team with a very strong defense. That West, Mo West Miller defense has been solid this season, 59th in the country in adjusted defensive efficiency i like uh, cincinnati in this one to grab a w they already beat ucf once this season by nine points 73 to 64 in the first matchup and that was in a game where ucf shot 40 percent from three 10 to 25 from the perimeter cincinnati only around 30 percent so give me cincinnati in this game i think they grabbed the w but i'm gonna take the points just in case Next up, we go back to the AAC as East Carolina takes on SMU. This one, 3 o'clock Eastern. It's going to be on ESPN+. Plus. Now, there's no doubting that this has been a down year for both of these teams this season, really rebuilding years. you got the new coach here for East Carolina. They lost a lot of production from last year's roster. And SMU, you know, same thing, new head coach, kind of a rebuilding year for this program. But I do think SMU has been a little bit more competitive as of late, and I don't really like East Carolina when they're playing on the road. You know, East Carolina, in their first road conference game, they actually had a nice win over Wichita State by 10 points. But since then, this team has just not played well on the road. Lost by double digit to Memphis, Cincinnati, and Temple. Then they also went on the road and lost to South Florida by eight points. And sure, they played pretty well at home. They've won, their la they've won three of their last four games at home. But it's a different story when they're playing on the road. SMU against Houston, they played pretty competitive ball. They, you know, they, they lost the game by 15 points in the end, but that's a very good Houston team. They're ranked number one in Ken Palm. So it's actually not too shabby of a, of a performance from SMU, in my opinion. They also complete, competed, went to overtime against Wichita State in double overtime on the road. And we know Wichita State, they just beat Temple, a pretty solid team there. Uh, you know, I think SMU is the better team in this matchup. And I just got to continue to fade East Carolina. Most of their games in conference play, double-digit losses. We don't have to lay anywhere near double digits in this game. So give me SMU. I'm going to lay the points. Next up, we go to the Pac-12 as Oregon takes on Washington State. This one's 7 o'clock Eastern. It's going to be on Fox Sports 1, one of the better games on the board 
for Sunday's card. You know, I faded Oregon in their most recent game against Washington because I just didn't like the spot. To me, it looked like a game where the Ducks kind of just were sleepwalking through it. They went to overtime and lost by a point in the end. And Washington State, we actually took them in our in their last game against Oregon State, and they covered the number for us. They won by 18 points. But I'm fading Washington State in this game. I'm going to take Oregon in this one, plus the points on the road. You know, Oregon, like I said, is in a tough spot here. As we have, they have three straight road games. They played one against Washington. They have this game on Sunday. Then they play next Saturday at Oregon State. You know, should be a, a win there, but you know, Oregon is right on the bubble. This is a very important game for the Ducks, a lot more important than Washington State, who has really no chance uh, unless they win the conference tournament to make the big dance. So, you know, Oregon, I do think we'll see a much sharper performance, a game where you know they where it looks like a must-win desperation mode kind of game for Oregon. You know, I think this team is the better team on paper. They're a good rebounding team, so they can compete on the glass with Washington State, which is important. And I do think that Washington State, you know, you look at their last win against Oregon State, we took them. But in that game, I think you know Washington State was a little bit fortunate. They shot 14 of 24 from three, 58.3%. This is a good three-point shooting team, but it's not nowhere near a 58.3% shooting team. Uh, Oregon State on the other side, they, they shot miserable in that game. They were 26 from the uh, 26% from the perimeter. You know, Washington State only had two offensive rebounds in that game. It really wasn't that good of a performance in terms of the fundamentals for Washington State. They just kind of had an unbelievable shooting performance. You're not playing a Oregon State defense in this game. You're playing a much better defensive team on the perimeter and two-point defense as well. A team that's good on the defensive glass, doesn't take too many fouls, and a team that I think is going to really need this win more than anything. So give me Oregon plus the points. I do think they grab the win on the road. Next up, we go to the AAC as Memphis takes on Houston. This one's going to be 3 o'clock Eastern. It's going to be on ESPN. You know, I really like this Houston team. I think they have a really good shot at doing some big things in the NCAA tournament, getting back to the Final Four again this year. But I do think that Memphis is also a team flying under the radar right now. I think Houston's a little bit on the overvalued side. They're on a six-game win streak. They won a lot of those games by double digits. And I do think Memphis can keep this game within single digits and cover the number on the road. I think Houston wins this game. I think Memphis covers. You know, Memphis, they've won three straight themselves, and they really played pretty good basketball as of late on both ends of the court. Very good two-point offense and defense. A lot of that's because this is a very good front court team, and that's important when you're playing against a Houston team. It's got probably the best front court in all of college basketball. You could argue with a few other teams, teams like Purdue, but you know, Houston is just they're year after year reliant on that very strong front court. And they have one of the best players in college hoops in Marcus Sasser. But you also have Memphis on the other side in their backcourt with Kendrick Davis, one of the best shooters I've seen in college hoops in the last few seasons. Not even having the best year in terms of his three-point shooting this year, but still a playmaker and just a difference maker on the offensive end. I think that these two teams are a lot closer than the uh, spread suggests. And even though I think Houston is the better team and should win this game you know, more often than not, I think Memphis competes in it and keeps it very, very close. Maybe has a shot to pull off the outright upset. Who knows? We've seen Houston lose some games. Or we, we didn't expect this season. A game like Temple in, in conference play included. So give me Memphis. I'm going to take the points in this one. And that's it. Those are the games for Sunday in College Hoops. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And don't forget to put your college basketball picks in the comments section below. Again, if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. As always, this is Ron Romanelli. Good luck.